hi guys welcome so today we are going to learn about the database migration in aws using aws aurora so uh, i will tell you in detail but before going ahead let me show you the high level picture of what this activity has and in between please like and subscribe the channel if you have not done yet so what we are going to do is uh, this migration will happen between MySQL. Basically, uh, uh, it will be Microsoft uh, SQL, uh, and then we will pick the AWS Aurora with PostGR or Postgre. So this migration uh, would have two steps. First thing is. For example, this will be our source database. This will be our target database. And uh, before we move the data, we have to move the schema. Now what schema is, so I have table and then table has these rows, right? So this is the table and table has some data. Now the structure, the way uh, SQL server SQL Server will uh, assume things and the uh, structure which uh, Postgre has is different, right? So first thing is whatever is the structure or the boxes we need to move, then we will move the content. For that, there is something which is called as the schema converter. So first uh, we will uh, do the schema conversion and once schema conversion happens successfully, but then uh, uh, what we are going to do is we will replicate this for example this is our my uh, sorry sql server uh, we are going to create a read replica so that the actual traffic uh, from the users will uh, continue to hit this and then he will get the response but at the same time we will have a read replica so this will always have the current data, live data, whatever is happening. And then we will spin up our post gray, which will have the table structure ready. Only thing what we need to do is we have to pull up the data from here and we will update or fill up this post gray on the continuous basis. So this will be the live migration in which there is no downtime required whatever the data would come here it would come here and then once entire migration is finished we will change the application endpoints instead of using the sql server we can update the connection string to use the post gr or post gray right so yeah this is what we are going to do so let me show you something real quick here I have this uh, Windows instance which is on cloud MySQL. So it is the RDS uh, service. Uh, basically, uh, if you go to console of AWS, you will find uh, uh, the, uh, let me actually take you there. So if we are here and if we say create database, you will get the option of SQL Server. So once you spin up the SQL Server, which I have already spinned up, uh, you can do the remote desktop and then you will get access to this box which has the uh, installation of uh, the SQL uh, server. Now there is a tool which is called as the schema converter. This is the tool which is given by AWS. So schema conversion uh, has a wizard. So if you will follow the wizard, wizard will give you all the stats. Once you do that, the final thing is that you will get the source database uh, schema here and then the Postgre, how would it look like, what would be the table. In some databases, their uh, uh, table name cannot be in caps lock. A different database is a different thing. So the schema conversion will provide you from source to uh, the target database uh, schema matching and then it would say green and wherever there is a problem it would tell you that this is the issue either you can take the stack or you can uh, ignore it like the way it is saying it here uh, so uh, maybe there are sometime the data types or the field length several differences so based on that you can fix all those differences and then once you come here 
uh, once you are satisfied with whatever are the changes you can just uh, you know apply to database what it will do is uh, whatever the conversion it has done uh, for the schema basically if you say convert schema it would try it would start replacing this the processing which is happening so from the source database it is uh, automatically converting this schema here now i have configured the uh, basically the post gray uh, connection string or credentials already so as soon as if i would go here and if i would say apply to database it would put those schema changes in my post gray let me show you my post gray as well over here so if i come to rds and then if i go to my databases you will see that this asim database rds labs which is my primary which is again replicated here so this is supposed to have uh, that schema right now uh, coming back to our uh, this uh, drawing again you have sql you have the schema you have converted the schema so my, uh, my postgre has the schema now real task is database conversion will happen and remember i told you that we will first do the red uh, like the replication so for that aws provides the uh, data migration tasks basically or data migration uh, service in which you can um, first uh, replicate the instance so once you replicate the instance which i did uh, i have already done you have to give name resources instance type whatever you want to attach to you can fill in all these details so let me show you what i have here so i have uh, done the replication here this one is replication which which uh, all the details are here now uh, we have to con uh, do the endpoints what do we mean by endpoint you could always watch the uh, you know the cloud matrix a cloud watch matrix of how things are happening and then the migration task so i'll uh, talk about migration task later but before that we have the endpoints so one endpoint is the source and one endpoint is the target so source is my mysql engine which is nothing else but whatever the replication we did from the uh, sql server this is what we did here so it will read from here and then it would uh, uh, basically after reading from here it would write it to the target so that is what it is going to do now where did i get this from actually the server name is actual uh, sql server so let me take you here uh, this is my rds database so i did that on a ec2 instance actually i could always show you real quick here this one is the performance matrix though so uh, let's jump on to ec2 to see our um, my C, uh, sql server sorry so let's go to ec2 this one is ec2 now in this i have one running instance which is nothing else but my windows uh, uh, ec2 instance which is running the sql server so you can see here this is windows and then i have all the details configured over here this one is my private ipv4 dns which we have configured in the source anyway uh, not getting the site not not getting sidetracked so there is a process of creating these endpoints and these endpoints are required for creating the database migration task. So I have uh, configured, uh, um, basically you uh, have to configure the details and tags, connectivity, everything you can do this. So if I have something in this VPC, whatever the replication instance I have, then I can run the test for the connectivity if I have uh, configured all the uh, things which are required. Same thing goes for the target as well. You could always run these tests.
provided you have given all the needed information to this. Anyway, so I am skipping this for now to save you time and I am jumping directly to the uh, database tasks. So here I have already configured the source which is SQL Server and the target which is Postgre and uh, in the Postgre which uh, post uh, Postgre SQL we already have the schema defined and waiting for the data to be moved up. So we can uh, create the task. Once we create the task, it would ask for the uh, identifier and then the replication thing, target database endpoint. All this would pre-populate from the previous step, whatever we did before. We can name it as anything, demo migration. So this would be our task, right? And then you can have the wizard you can always say target table preparation mode if you want to drop something on target do nothing you can say lob is basically large objects you can uh, leave it as is uh, the maximum size of uh, this you can do you can enable cloud log watch so that during migration if there is some problem which happens you could easily see that in cloud uh, watch logs after that uh, you have uh, the control table settings if you have to rename some of the schemas and things like that you could always do the full load um, uh, tuning settings so it gives you a lot more option uh, basically to give you a lot of control so after you are done with everything you can just create the task Okay, this is asking for the ARM. Let's see. We can pick this. So this is the replica set. We have this, this, this here. Then we have task setting. Create control table in target schema. And then you could always uh, have these rules basically for the migration if you want to you can always add what schema from where so you can enter the schema name or uh, other information if you want to so in short uh, without uh, you know wasting much time we will uh, jump into uh, uh, the already created task which i have uh, basically and then AWS provides the entire uh, uh, set of steps also uh, which you are supposed to follow while doing these migrations so you can fill up each details by following the wizard and then the final state would be you will see the migration task now once you have the migration task ready uh, then you can uh, basically start the migration for me it is already running and uh, now you can see the table statistics so it would say the schema name is this these are the table names and the load state is stable loading is completed then inserts deletes updates and ddls uh, full uh, load rows how many rows are there so these are uh, roughly 5 million 5.57 million uh, records basically so total rows has been loaded then you can have the validation state pending and a lot of other information i did it today it's uh, 11 19 2020 so uh, once everything is done you would say load completed replication ongoing what does that mean it means that if you will insert any data in uh, uh, my sql sorry the sql server that data would be uh, you know um, migrated or that data would also reflect on the uh, postgre so if you are making changes here since it is ongoing migration it will uh, go there if you will stop it then that thing will stop but if you will stop it then you have to first uh, flush out whatever are the requests are coming here once this application or is down whatever is the source for this database 
then you can uh, stop replication and then you can start basically from here so that user application would directly call here and you can remove this link to be precise let me uh, try to erase this that this will all be gone basically in that case so yeah that is pretty much it that was uh, the uh, you know agenda for this video if you uh, like to see more videos on data migrations or databases please leave a comment uh, whatever you want to know more uh, leave your questions in the comment and i have also published detailed database replication related videos on my youtube channel related to mongodb sharding and a lot of other cool stuff so please feel free to check out that i have also uploaded a lot of pro programming tutorials on python and then also on golang on java different programming languages so if you are interested in programming watch that uh, and uh, please wait i am going to put uh, more cool videos on aws soon which would also cover the uh, rest api uh, microservices application aws lambda functions step functions and serverless computing as well thanks for watching my name is prem asim jain see you later